Hi there. This plant is a TPS seedling. It is its mother plant was a plant was a variety called SG. So this single plant has produced an enormous number of berries and we are going to be getting frost uh, tomorrow night for sure. And so I am going to harvest off these berries today just because this is the best moment that I have to do this and I really do want to salvage as much of this TPS as possible. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now and then I want to do a quick potato berry reveal I guess and just show how much uh, how many potato berries you can potentially harvest off a single highly fertile plant. Okay, so let me just harvest this and then we'll weigh them up. I've gone about halfway around and I've gotten, you know, pretty close to a, a gallon of berries. So I'm just gonna... And I'm not actually grabbing everything, you know, like these ones that are badly damaged, I'm not taking. And then kind of ones that are out on the tips like this, I just feel like this seed is not going to be mature enough, so I'm pretty much leaving it. I'm just trying to take kind of the older berries. But, I mean, and really, I can be picky because this is a ridiculous quantity of TPS from one plant. By the way, field expedient berry harvester, this is pretty awesome. Just widen open a gallon milk jug, works great. Well, that is a lot of berries. So, so all of this is from one plant, which started out as one seed this early this spring. And that seed has now produced hundreds of thousands of other seeds. So that's pretty amazing. Here's the plant, kind of all jumbled. Now, one of the possible fathers of this plant is CIP 386286-7, which is a, uh, which is a plant with really good vine frost tolerance. So I'm going to really be interested to see how these vines react. So we'll probably get down to 30 or in the high 20s. So that's kind of right in the neighborhood where this frost tolerant vines would express. And so I have, this is potentially um, a cross with CIP. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to keep repeating that number. And then there's a whole row over yonder that is descended from CIP, that number. <laughs> um, and so both of those, it'll be interesting to see if any of those um, seedlings are uh, vine frost tolerant. So, which is an interesting trait if you're a homesteading potato grower. Okay. All right, so we've got the scale here and uh, seedling flat and try and tear flat out more or less can we see that can we see that yeah okay so let's just see if we can do this without tipping anything So that is uh, almost four pounds. Oh, it's very slowly. Ah. Let's call that five pounds. Th 
This one is cracked. Hopefully it will remain structurally intact. So it looks like th another three pounds, three pounds, couple ounces, uh, three pounds plus five pounds is eight pounds in America. So that's a lot of berries. you can see kind of been staging the TPS staging the potato berries out here in the greenhouse in trays um, and one thing you'll notice is they and I find a lot of times when you pick a potato berry most of the time they look like this you know they're kind of green and hard and they'll be green and white basically but once you get them out laid out in the sunlight or even in just bright light for very long they'll start to express some pink color and it turns out you can you can tell different clones apart a little bit by how they look after they have been in the sun. Like this is Shetland Pink here and they have turned purple um, after they've been sitting. Like these looked pretty much like this when I picked them for the most part and now they're really quite purple. Um, so that helps maybe if you accidentally mix a couple batches of berries, you can set them out in the sun and maybe you'll be able to tell them apart after a while just by, you know, how how much pink or purple they develop. Because, um, like, I have another... Uh, this one is another one, and it kind of develops sort of these purple streaks. And so it's pretty easy to tell if you've got one of these streaky berries in um, like a batch of like uniformly purple berries like this, you can sort of pick it out. I don't know if that's particularly important since it's not like uh, uh, potatoes grow true from seed. But if you accidentally mixed up some like really important crosses, you might be able to like sort them back out again. Um, yeah. Otherwise, it's just sort of an interesting factoid, I guess. And this is about the best uh, TPS harvest I've ever had. So I don't want to give the impression that I, I always have this many potato berries. Like, this is, this is pretty extreme for me. Because we've got this stuff up here, too. So... And then I've got a lot of tiny batches inside in the house. But like the reason these are out here is basically this is so much, um, this is so many berries and they tend to attract a lot of fruit flies and it's just, this is too many for indoors, you know. Um, maybe if I was single, hopefully this is interesting for at least a few potato oriented people. Um, so thank you very much for watching.